In this next step, you'll see us putting a bead of 4200 around the base and the first few threads of the transducer. We never put the 4200 actually on the hull because then you have to pull the transducer and all the cable up through that hull and that just always results in a mess. So we only apply it to the transducer and then we stick the transducer up in the hull. We'll go around this one a few times to get a, a couple good beads of 4200 around it. Okay, the transducer's got a nice uh, couple beads of uh, 4200 around the bottom and now it's ready to insert into the hull. So, what we'll do is feed the wire up into the hull and insert the transducer and we'll pay attention to the arrow on top to make sure we get it in the right direction the first time because we're going to put tape on the bottom to hold it up in there. The way we're doing this installation is to show you how it can be done by one person. So. Vance has pretty much done this whole thing himself and what he's going to do now is put another layer of tape over the transducer to hold it in place so that he can now go inside the hull and work on it from there. So that will hold it in place and now the next step is going to be inside the bilge and we'll get the retaining nut and that, that uh, gasket put in place and this transducer will be just about done. It's kind of hard to film in the bilge here uh, with uh, the work actually happening but the, what you see now is the transducer is mounted in the hull and we put a bead of 4200 around the inside and you see the cable it's all perfectly clean that's because we did not put any of the 4200 in the boat or on the hull before we pushed the transducer through. So we only put the 4200 on the transducer. So uh, now we're ready to feed or to install the uh, rubber gasket and retaining nut. Now the rubber gasket and retaining nut are on the transducer. If you can see the orientation of the transducer, the arrow is actually pointing towards the center of the boat. It's not pointing towards the bow, not pointing towards the stern. That's the proper orientation. And you see we have a 20 degree transducer for this boat, which has a 22 or so degree dead rise. If you're having trouble determining your dead rise, you can buy one of these angle finders. What you do is lay it up against the hull, and it'll give you a reading in degrees of what your dead rise is. Then you can buy the right angle transducer. The Airmar B60 and the B164 are offered in 12 degrees and 20 degrees. So you can buy the one that most closely matches your dead rise. Okay, now it's all tightened up. You see we have a good bead of silicone that's, uh, or uh, 4200 that's crept out around the whole transducer and the uh, rubber gasket is nice and compressed and our flashlight is dead. But you see, uh, that's what it should look like after it's tightened down and done. So as far as the bilge is concerned, we're done from this end. Now we're going to go to the outside and pull off the tape. All right, we're going to pull off all the tape. And what this should leave behind is the transducer with just a little bit of uh, 4200 around it. And it'll be real easy to clean up. Now we'll take a look at the finished product. You can see the transducers mounted. It's all clean on the face. We haven't had to use any acetone or uh, solvents on it to clean off the 4200 because we did mask it off. And you can see how flush it is with a very fine little bead of uh, 4200 around the perimeter. So another fine installation.